Hello. I've noticed a lot of people are confused by the AI in DCS, especially with it ignoring certain targets and engaging targets across the map. I'll explain the basics of how the AI can see the world and how you can help it see during a mission. DCS AI is very complex. Too complex for its own good, if you ask me. Many issues people encounter are related to AI not being aware of the target beforehand. Just like you, your wingman is not omnipotent. He's not aware of a target until he sees it visually or with his sensors. If your wingman does not know about a valid target, he'll probably say something like, two, unable. Here you can see the AI notices the launch and calls out the SAM's position. These callouts are critical to understanding how the AI spots their targets. Once any AI, any of them, has said the target's position, every other friendly aircraft knows about it. The target is now spotted. The AI can also use air-to-ground radars or targeting pods to help them spot. The player can see exactly which targets are spotted by using the Fog of War map setting. This map setting shows the enemies only after the AI has seen them. But you don't need to sit and wait until the AI sees the target, you can actually call them out for yourself. This must be enabled in the settings menu. Under the gameplay tab, there's an option called cockpit visual recon mode. Checking this box will allow you to call out targets as well. I bound the right mouse button to enable visual recon mode. I right click and now I have this little red crosshair in the center of my screen. I place this crosshair over the target and left click. See that call out in the top left? It says Allied Flight, but that's actually me. That's my call sign. Now I have spotted in the same way the AI does, and every AI on my side knows about those BTRs. See, here goes that other A-10 who's doing CAS. He can see my spotted targets now, and he's attacking them. The AI might not immediately attack a target, it can take a minute or two. Here you can see the spotted enemies that are also showing up on the F-10 map. This isn't the only way the AI spots their targets. They can also use their RWR to spot a target, completely. Like, totally. Here I have an SA-2 site, as well as a wingman. My wingman and I get spiked by the search radar, then the track radar. Both these radars appear on the F-10 map, showing that they're spotted. Every EWR is spotted like this, which is why you probably encounter your wingman going off to attack an EWR on the other side of the map. Interestingly enough, this RWR logic does not extend to the laser warning receiver on aircraft like the KA-50 or the A-10. They do not spot you if you are using electro-optical in a flanker or a fulcrum. You can also have the AI know about targets beforehand using the search then engage command. Checking off the visible box makes the AI aware of these targets regardless of other factors. Search then engage is actually very buggy. If the visible checkbox is not selected, the AI will search for the target, but allies cannot call out the target for them. Here I have another example, showing that the AI does not have 360 vision. Here the AI doesn't aggro until I've flown past him. Another thing is that the ECM prevents the AI from spotting you with a radar at long range, and it keeps the AI from aggroing at that range.
launch authorized. Lastly, ground units can also spot a target if they get close enough, but this is finicky. Tell me if this tutorial is helpful for some of you. I'll make another video soon if it is. Thanks for watching. Adios.